A power of attorney is not a person. So if somebody says, I'd like to introduce you to my power of attorney over here, you being smart will know a power of attorney is not a person. What that guy just said is silly. That's because a power of attorney is actually a legal document. So this legal document is where you as the grantor can give power to someone else to do something for you. And more specifically, you're giving that person the ability to sign your name on something. Now, there are all kinds of different types of power of attorney. There's medical power of attorney, there are real estate powers of attorney, but in this video, I'm talking about the durable power of attorney, sometimes called the durable general power of attorney. To give you an idea of how we think of a durable general power of attorney in our office, when we talk with our clients, we actually refer to them as financial powers of attorney. So in a durable power of attorney, you as the grantor are giving someone else the ability to sign your name on things like real estate documents, tax documents. They have the ability to sign things at the bank. And the idea is that if you're incapacitated, like you're physically or mentally incapacitated, that person that you've designated now can sign your name to handle the kind of businessy things that you used to do on your own. And you need to have a durable power of attorney before the need actually exists, because if you're already inca incapacitated, it'll be too late. So an incapacitated person can't sign a power of attorney. You need to have your wits about you when you sign that power of attorney. And one other note about a power of attorney. The power of attorney becomes ineffective when the grantor dies. So there's no such thing as a power of attorney for a deceased person. Once you die, the powers of attorney die as well. Here's a little bonus for you. You might be wondering why does the statute call it a durable power of attorney? Well, that's because most financial powers of attorney will have this magic language. And that magic language says that even if you become incapacitated, your agent will still have the ability to sign your name. And the reason that that's important is because without that magic language, if you become incapacitated by default law, that power of attorney would lose its power. So the reason it's durable is that it's still in effect even if you become incapacitated after the time you sign that document. Well, of course, that's the type of power of attorney you want. That's the point for most people is so that if you become incapacitated, somebody else can handle your business by being able to sign your name on the things that you would have done could you do them yourself. So I hope the next time somebody says, I'm power of attorney for somebody, that makes you laugh. They should have said, I'm the agent or attorney in fact under the power of attorney you know that a power of attorney is not a person, a power of attorney is a legal document.